Are you looking for a unique gift idea? Why don't you try a used arcade game for your home? We got pinball machines, shooting games, racing games, all kinds of things like that. So head on over to allcastlegames.com, scroll down and hit the shop button right there, and check out our huge selection of arcade games. Um, if you don't see something here, we can find it for you, so just give us a call and let us know. And all of our games in the state of Wisconsin come with a 90-day service warranty and a lifetime 50% trade-in credit. Stop on over and check it out. Hey guys, welcome to my little uh, first impression video on Retro Atomic Zombie Adventureland. Um, I just wanted to get a little thing out of the way about the YouTube COPPA situation. Um, unfortunately, we're like got games in our title and I have a few videos that show gameplay and stuff like that. So I've kind of decided that we're going to have to basically label this whole channel as um, basically good for children. Um, so I, I really don't think YouTube should be collecting data on anybody. So um, one side effect of that is um, the only reason I'm really bringing it up, because um, I don't really rely on ad revenue at all. I don't really care. But um, it is going to probably disable comments. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, maybe you can reach out on Twitter or something like that if you want to reach out about these videos. So let's just get started with this. I'm, I'm not going to do a whole lot in this. I know the news is a little bit old, but um, I've been extremely busy, and um, I, I just wanted to make a few comments on this game. Um, what we're seeing here is um, a prototype for Deep Root's uh, first um, pinball game um, that was designed by John Papaduk. Um, and there's a whole controversy about John Papaduk and his um, you know, potential, um, his... Uh, basically a parent um hypothetical you know squandering people out of money situation it's, it's a very long story so i'm not really going to get into it here but this is one of the games that we really never thought would see the light of day and um but here it is um and it's if, if, if you played any of john papaduke's games before if you're unfamiliar with him at all um if you played games like theater of magic tales of arabian nights World Cup Soccer, all this. There's a lot of games from the Bally Williams in the 90s. Um, uh, episode 1, one of the last Pin 2000 games. Um, it's uh, He has kind of a, a unique style. He likes to use purple, you know, and green. Uh, another game of his is Circus Voltaire. This has a lot of the same color scheme as that. Um, but, yeah, th this is a game that's been in development for, gosh, I don't know, since 2012, something like that. <laughs> Um, it was originally titled Ben Hex, um, Re Atomic Zombie Land, or something like that. Um, it's it's changed names and copyright problems and all stuff like that. So this is kind of why we have this generic uh, thing here because he had all kinds of art that was you know like had Godzilla and uh, some Martian stuff and all kinds of crazy things on there, which was cool, but they were too close to original IPs, so a lot of the artists changed. Um, but anyway, that's kind of a backstory. We're going to take a look at this game real quick. This is my first impressions of the game. I really haven't seen it a lot. Um, I, I watched a video very quickly. Um, I kind of just, this is the first time I'm checking out this week in pinball and seeing the actual pictures of it. So let's take a look. Obviously, this is, um, this art on the back box is temporary stand-in art. And I was told that this, this actual pinball machine, the cabinet, is prototype. So this may not be what we get. Um... But it has, um, as you can see here, a weird horizontal LCD screen. It's, it appears to be very high res, which is cool. Um, and a lot of green, which I don't like. Green is always a bad luck color. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, it has a lot of stuff. It's very colorful. It reminds me a lot of Circus Voltaire. Um, let's take a little closer look here. You can see I actually kind of like this display. I kind of like how this it, it feels pinball, you know. And I, in the video, it had like a little picture in here where it's about the size of the DMD display where all the animations were. And on the sides, it had the scores and ba very basic, very clear information to read. So I did like that. Um, Layout-wise, obviously, I didn't get to play it, but we're just looking at it. And from what I can tell is there is one ramp. And from the videos I've watched, it's 
it's a ramp that uh, is very steep and it's not often completed. And a lot of people have been complaining about that. And honestly, I wouldn't know until I play the game a bunch. But you know, it, it's not like you, it comes back out the ramp. It kind of it kind of goes up, and if you hit it farther, it's kind of like a kind of like a step ladder or a ski ball or something where it, the ball rolls up, and you know, you get higher, you get more points and stuff like that. Um, but a lot of times it drops down in here, it drops over there. You know, it's very interesting. Is it fun? I don't know. You know, um, it has a few of uh, John's traits, like this little spinny guy here, straight out of Tales of Arabian Nights. Um, Stern also used it on Avengers. Um, it has, a, you know, a standard pop bumper arrangement. Um, a lot of crazy, you know, uh, inserts. Um but yeah, like I said, there's John has this tendency. See, if you see here on the outline, there's a weird target. He has targets placed in weird positions that you can never hit, you know, which is cool, I guess. I don't know. It also has in the back here. It has this wheel that spins around. It's supposed to be like a uh, a Ferris wheel or something like that, pulled out of like Cyclone. And in the back here, in this open area, there's uh, some rollover targets um, straight out of. Straight off Circus Voltaire and older pinball games. Um, you know, layout-wise, it's different. Um, another thing I did notice was on the on the left side here, um, there's definitely a kickback, and it kicks up in here somehow. And that looks interesting. I don't know what it does. I mean, a lot of it, it has potential. But, but with all these new games, I'm always very cautious. You know, the company's new. Um, will they be around next week? You know, I'm sure they will be, but you never know. I always wait until their second or third game before I buy one just because I need to be able to get parts and this and that. And some companies come and go. And um, the build quality looks fairly good. Um, I didn't see anything that jumped out at me. It would be a maintenance nightmare. Um, some of these mechanisms are kind of overkill, but they look fairly solid compared to the stuff that John Papadik was showing with his uh, Houdini prototype and stuff like that, which is all plastic junk. Um, but yeah, it, it, you know, you can see there's a lot of steel in here, a lot of metal. This is some sort of opto there for counting this. Um, and the flippers look solid, you know, it has, it looks solidly built. Um, that doesn't mean it's going to hold up. There might be something usually in John's older games, there was always something that would be a problem that had to be fixed later. But, um, you know, one of my favorite games personally is theater of magic. Um, I know the pinball players don't like it because it's easy, but theming-wise, I do like that game. Um, so this game has potential. I'm not entirely thrilled about the theme. I think it, the, if, if I have to struggle to say the name of it, it's like Retro Atomic Zombie Adventureland. That's just too long. <laughs> it seems like maybe we could just go Zombie Adventureland or Retro Atomic Adventureland. <laughs> um, you know, just shorten that up, but whatever. It's had that name for a long time, and... Uh, the original name was better that had been heck in the title, but uh, it didn't make any sense neither. Um, so I'm just kind of rambling now. Um, you know, I've seen this this little thing here looks kind of interesting. It's like a, it looks like some sort of ramp and a trap or something. I mean, there's some there's some cool stuff here. There's this atomic shop thing, some sort of ball trap. Um, will it play good? I don't know. I from the software, the the animations looked good. Um, you can see here. Here's that thing I was talking about with the screen in the middle. They got some pictures. It's very simple stuff. I don't think pinball animations should be much more than that anyway. And then you have a, a very easy to read static score display that's always there. And then when something like at the end of the ball, the thing will widen out and it'll, it's, it's a very, the animations are very good. The, the, the art team is definitely good. Um, the designer, I don't know, but um, we'll, we'll see. <clears throat> so, I don't know. It's it's. I wasn't even going to do this video because this is kind of an early showing at the Houston Arcade Expo, and um, I was going to kind of wait till it was actually released to do a first impression video. My first impressions are mixed. I'm going to tell you straight up, they're just mixed. Um, it has potential. Um, the company has more potential, I think. Um, you know, this is, is if they can build this. You know, if they can honestly manufacture this, and the electronics match the actual physical craftsmanship the electronics are on the same par then i think that, you know this is something that's okay and then it also comes down to price you know if we're going to operate this game 
it's always coming down to price. I don't really care um, too much about anything else, honestly, because the pinball games don't make a lot of money. And they're there. You know, they're fun. I like them. But <clears throat> return on investment is very important for an operator. So... I don't sorry about that guys. Um, I'm just having a trouble talking. So, <laughs> um, let me know what you think about, uh, uh I can't even remember the name, uh, Raza retro atomic zombie adventure land. And, uh, let me know down in the comments while they're still there. And, uh, if not, you can find us on Twitter. So yeah, it looks, it, it looks promising. I am not going to say anything else about it other than that. So I, I like to know your comments down below, um, while they're still there. And, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. You can also support us on Patreon or Tee Public.